man, listen, right? I'm just venting, right? But uh, look, man, you know, I'm 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 journeying off into this YouTube stuff, um, uh, podcasting, vlog, and all that shit, right? So this summer you're gonna see a lot of me, right? Um, so I think I'm gonna call this show here just venting, trap talk, blue, just venting. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna do a, the podcast one. This one just venting, then I'm gonna do my vlog and um, Trap Talk Blue Vlogs, the Trap Talk Blue Vlogs, right? So, listen, so I'm just saying this, you know, I've been looking Miss Holiday, right? And I don't wanna stay on that too much because, you know, I said what I had to say and um, about it, like, you know, it's a lot of fakeness out here. So, you know, I don't wanna be a person that keep talking about some shit and because the views going up, you know, that's not what I'm here, you know, I really. I reached out to that lady way before she passed away. Like, if, if you look at some of my older ones, I always say, Miss Holler, Miss Holler this, Miss Holler that. You know, um, I done wrote to them trying to get in touch with But that's here, no there. But let me tell you what I learned from her, right? Uh, you can learn a lot from a person. And first of all, life is short, right? Life is short. When you look back on shit, like, you know, when you look back on shit, it seemed like it was just yesterday. But if a motherfucker tells you you had five years in jail, it seemed like it's forever. You understand what I'm saying? But um, it seems like for some reason, now the days are getting longer. I don't know if it's just me or, you know, it just, I mean, it's shorter. It's like, man, like, man, the day go by just so fast. Like, the older I get, the fucking faster time go. Damn, it's a clean training day in front of me. That motherfucker clean. But, uh, man, so look, man, we do a lot of shit as black people. We do a lot of fucked up shit. We, we, we waste a lot of time. I mean, it's a lot of time being wasted. We get these motherfuckers. I mean, for real, it's a lot of time being wasted, doing nothing, drinking, getting high, talking dumb shit, wasting breath, talking dumb shit that don't mean shit. I mean, this, and listen, this, 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 what I've been thinking about, like we live so uncomfortable and stressful when we don't have to be. See, people out here, it's actually more stressed that they're not like a motherfucker that they see on TV whose life ain't really like that. But see, people will put that fake smile on, but you know what you're supposed to. You aren't supposed to let a motherfucker see you struggle. But you put all these things on TV and you see these guys, you be like, oh man, they living good. They got this and that and that. But you know what's so fucked up about that? Like, you look at another motherfucker and I just heard... What's that black ass rapper, the dancer nigga name? I just heard him like, I don't go back to the hood, right? That nigga just said, I don't go back to the hood. He said, um, you know, I only go back to the hood when I'm giving away some motherfucking money. You know, some shit. I don't fuck around in the hood. See, but listen, man, let me tell you something. That's fucked up. Because niggas, if you go broke today, where the fuck you gonna go? But you gonna go to another nigga hood? I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's fucked up when you don't go back to your own hood. See, man, I, 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 I never seen money change so many people. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm always going to come back to my hood. Ain't a nigga walking a guy's green earth that can run me away from Schoolcraft and Mansfield, Finkel and Marlow. It's not going to happen. It's just not, no, it ain't a nigga walking the earth that bad. You know what I'm saying? Now, you come back to showboat. See, this is what I'm saying. We, 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 we can't. We we stressing over some shit that we can be living good. How in the fuck? How in the fuck a nigga can't come back to his own hood where he come from? Why is it so uncomfortable for us living where we are from? Why do everybody want to go somewhere else? We the, we and we are the reason why we want to go somewhere else. It's us. You ask nine times out of ten, why do you want to move out the neighborhood and go to, out here? They won't say because it's more land or. You know, that's a good excuse, but they'd be like, because of the niggas. Like, I'm tired of the violence. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Most people in the ghetto is most of the... Man, listen, man, the ghetto is is everything to me, man. Because when you look at the ghetto, man, just think about it. You, okay, you in the ghetto now. Oh, it's the worst place in the world. But look at Detroit. Some of the worst ghettos in the world houses cost a million dollars right now. They was selling that shit for a thousand dollars at one time. Now a house that you could have bought for a thousand twenty five hundred dollars is worth a half a million dollars or better now. 
You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, to move back to some of these niggas' neighborhoods that you come from, even when, the, like, the Marcy Projects and all that shit, the ghetto, nigga, the stone-cold ghetto where niggas broke their neck to get up out of, white motherfuckers moving in is a luxury. See, they, they see that's that mind shit. See, this, 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 this what I'm saying, man. So, I, I just don't get it. Like, we stressed over nothing. Like, we so stressed, like, because we can't dress, we can't wear a $500 t-shirt. That is that the dumbest shit ever, though? Like, if you ain't wearing something with a white man name on it, you ain't popping. Nigga, a nigga can have a, a hang shirt on it with his dead homie name on it, right? Face on it or whatever, right? And a motherfucker can have a $700 Gucci t-shirt on. Nigga, this shirt that you didn't pay $20 for at the goddamn store, 10 years later, you can still put it on the wear. That motherfucking Gucci shirt all fucked up around the collar. I'm just saying, man. You know, so we put too much. We make too many other people rich, man. You know what I'm saying? It, for real, man. And we worried about the wrong shit. We worried about driving this car and that car. The car is only the car is only as good as what you what you put on it. All this shit. This shirt ain't worth shit, but what you what you what you put on it. You understand what I'm saying? How the fuck a nigga go pay a half a million dollars for a fucking Lamborghini or a Rolls Royce, and then here you go, you got a fifty, sixty thousand dollar charger running a doze off this motherfucker. And look as good. You know what I'm saying? How do I see Buicks and shit like that on the inside? Cold as fuck on the inside. Outside look good too. But you don't want to buy it because it only costs 60000 But yet you go buy a Rolls Royce or a Benz. That, you know what I'm saying? That It's, it's like we, we put too much on shit is what I'm saying. You know, we stressed out for no reason. Nigga, we got it all here, bro. In the hood, we got each other. As long as you got each other, dog. Listen, look, you know how better it would be if we stuck together? Ain't no, nigga, if we stuck together like they say they did in the 60s and 70s where it's like, look, your kids ain't gonna go without a haircut because dog know how to cut hair. You know what I'm saying? All right, I see old girl down the street got a little drug problem. Her kids out here kind of fucked up, right? So, so what I'm gonna do is we gonna go in together, get dog and the sister them some shoes and shit. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And still, we talk about each other. We down each other. You know what I'm saying? That, that's how we do. Look at them. That bitch can't even keep her kids at that dolphin. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And then, look at the houses in our hood. Shit go dilapidated, right? Because, you know why? It go dilapidated and fucked up because a nigga can't get money to fix his house up. Like a white, a white person right now can come in your hood, buy a house, go get a loan to fix it up. You know what I'm saying? If he from the outside, a nigga that's living here, Right now, say your fort porch and shit, your roof, it's time for all that shit to be redone. You know, you know you're on low income. Where can you go? So now the house just, they want you to leave the motherfucker. They don't have no grants for you to help fix it up. If you've been living in the house 10 years or more and you low income or you've down on your luck, it should be some type of help for you to fix your home, but it's not. They don't want that. They want the roof to leak enough for you to say, fuck it. I I'm going to let this motherfucker go. And, you know, it's funny how you, it's did because let me tell you how it worked. The motherfucking government, I pay for a motherfucker somewhere to live, right? They, they, they let them, okay, yeah, you can come live in, live in some shit we done built out here. We, you know, give us $80 a month, right? Low income, $100 a month, right? Now, you, this a brand new place because they want your motherfucking house. They want this house that they got in the neighborhood that's going to be worth two or $300,000. You see what I'm saying? That's that's how they do niggas, though. Like, okay, they won't give you the money to fix your motherfucking house, but they'll pay you, pay somewhere. What's cheaper? To get this nigga ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars to fix his home up, or to pay for this motherfucker, you know, this motherfucker somewhere rent a thousand dollars a month for fucking the next 10, 20 years. I mean, it don't make sense, but 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 it's happening, man. And like I said, I'm just venting about this because it, because man, listen, man, I just see the beauty. Like I say, I see the beauty in the hood, man. You know what I'm saying? I just think if we stuck together and became, you know, where, where, where parents can take their kids to the parks. You know what I'm saying? Where our schools ain't all fucked up and ghetto and everybody fighting over bullshit. Make them wear uniforms. It's like, man, the hood is where it's at. And it, like I say, we stress over shit that we can't control. And the thing is, dog, where we at is where a lot of motherfuckers want to be. You know what I'm saying? I understand people might want land and, you know, some shit like that. But, man, in the hood, man, just think about how much fun we have in the hood when we having fun. There's no other place I'd rather be.
is in the hood. We complain about the police and all this shit, but nigga, if you kind of get your shit together and you doing the right thing, you ain't got to worry about these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, that, that goes, you know, like I say, man, I just had a whole outlook on life. You know, like I say, I, I watched my uncle pass, my grandmother. I lost a lot of uncles, friends. This last couple years been really bad on me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like when I see somebody like Holla, you know, on TV, the, the lady, she passed away. You know, and I just I just look at how she took took death, like how she took it, like shit, fuck it. I'm 97 years old, man. Like my homeboy Delaney told me that too. I was like, man, something. I said, man, um, I was talking to him about something, about somebody crying at a funeral. He said, nigga, why? He said, why in the fuck would you cry at a nigga funeral that's 70 years old? He said, motherfucker, I'm 72 years old. He said, a motherfucker cry with me, he be a goddamn fool. I done lived two, three lives. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, how long you think you gonna live? Like, this is, you know, so. But and that's how Holla looked at that shit. You know what I'm saying? And she she looked at that shit like that. She looked at that shit like shit. Like, hey, I'm 97 years old. I can go any day. But she had fun while she was here. And I learned a lot, man, to see somebody just look deaf head on like that. And do it with a smile. And do it like I know I'm going. And shit can go bad tomorrow. And she still have fun with it, man. That's pure inspiration for me, man. That's inspiration for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just like that's what I'm saying. I just want to say this too, man. We we uh we got to get our shit together, man. You know, all this killing and this shit ain't cool. You see, now you see the government is purposely doing this. See, when white people get up and tell you this, y'all listen more. When the white person get up and say, hey, look, this is what these white people are doing. Motherfucker, niggas don't own record companies. These white people run everything. You tell you looking at the Dr. Dre's and all the and, and, and all the rest of these motherfuckers. These niggas ain't nothing but a fucking nothing. They're nothing. Man, that little money they got is nothing, my nigga. You know, these white people, um, how you think it's so many sweet ass rappers that you know? Whoever listen to this, I bet you it's some rappers in your neighborhood that's so motherfucking out cold, but yet they but all you hear is garbage on the radio now. Niggas don't even know what 16 bars is, my dog. I mean, it's nothing but garbage. I mean, the same thing. You can't even understand what half these ignorant motherfuckers saying. But long as they talking about shooting fucking hoes, dog, put that shit out there. That's what we want these niggas to hear. Nigga, they killing. They getting not. Nigga, they getting rich off destroying us. You understand what I'm saying? They getting rich off destroying us. And dog, we got to wake up from behind this shit, my dog. Once we wake up and see how much, and I, you know, and I don't, you know, when I was younger. I ain't listen to too many old niggas, you know, I for real, because I didn't, I didn't think that they could see eye to eye with me, but, you know, and I'm an older nigga now, but I feel like I'm still 17 or 18 years old, you know what I'm saying, so I hope my message come across a little different than them guys did when I was old, you know what I'm saying, because, because I'm with you, young dog, I'm with you on everything, you know, except for this violent shit, and I know it's violent, I was into that shit too, and I understand it, but you know, it, it's, it's, it's senseless. It don't make sense. Violence is it don't make sense, man. Just 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 it's just how you feel on being violent, the same way you'll feel ten times better with love, man. Like you know what I'm saying? Instead of beefing with a nigga, you and that nigga you beefing with, y'all get together. I'm just saying, believe me, you and him being cool to feel a whole lot better at y'all beefing. And a lot of people done beefed out with their own homeboys. Niggas they once was cool with, now they beefing over some dumb, some jealousy shit. Man, if y'all can bring that shit back together, sometimes, man, whatever it is, dog, we got to kind of forget about it and forgive it, man, or this it's just going to be a daily cycle, dog. And I understand there's niggas out here with nothing, man. There's niggas out here with nothing. So how can you tell a nigga with nothing, look, dog, you shouldn't be doing this when they don't have nothing and they done seen some of the most horrific shit in the world? But that's why we need to start a group, man, that, that nigga is love. We show these kids love and show them how to get to some money. And nigga, we show, you know, like, look, dog, nigga, we can be in the hood and live peacefully and live good. You know how much they hate that? These houses, we in Detroit, we going to fuck around and lose it all. If, if we don't hurry up and get smart, we going to hurt. We going to lose everything. We going to lose everything. Dog. All these brick. How, look where I'm at, bro. Listen, look. You see all this shit down in here? Look ahead of you. That's going towards downtown. You know what I'm saying? Look at all this shit. Dog, all this shit is about to be beautiful. But guess who gonna own it? Not us. 
Not us. Now, nigga ain't about to own the motherfucking thing down here. This shit down here was all the projects and all this shit. Now this shit tore down. Nigga, you ain't about to get nothing down here for cheap. And if you do, you better jump on it. But they not giving loans. Like, right now, you think I wouldn't be buying this shit up? But they not giving us loans. Nigga, unless you got cash money. And then if you got cash money, they want to know, okay, where the fuck did this come from? How did you get this? But they don't do Mexicans like that. I'm telling you the truth. These Mexicans is buying everything. They tell me how they hate Mexicans and Muslims. Man, that's a motherfucking lie. That's who buying everything around this bitch. Now, how a nigga that don't even supposed to be in this country? A motherfucker that y'all say y'all gonna build a motherfucking wall across for do better than niggas. I wanna know that though. Tell me how in the fuck do we live somewhere where y'all say y'all hate somebody so much y'all gonna build a wall around this bitch from them. But yet they get treated better than the motherfucker that helped build this bitch on their back, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They get treated way better. You know what I'm saying? They own this motherfucker, man. I mean, these motherfuckers got millions of dollars in back holes, front loaders, semi trucks, dump trucks. That's all you see. These Mexicans ain't, these motherfuckers ain't pulled by no means, nigga. And you already know what they doing. That you don't see a Mexican in the news getting caught. Talking about something, they got caught with bricks of cocaine. You never, all you see is niggas. They don't want nobody but black people, man. I'm telling you that not, man. I told you that on the last one. I said, man, you ain't never seen, when you, even when you watch the Big Meats documentary, that's where it stopped, Big Meats. Now, who was bigger than Big Meats? It's like they stop at the niggas. Oh, this nigga getting way too much money. He putting too many niggas on. Now, if he was one of them selfish niggas, it, you know, you know that, you know what I'm saying? But he wasn't. You know, he like, damn, everybody eating around this bitch. We got to lock all these niggas up, turn them against each other. And that's what they did, man. And they, and then, you know, they act like cocaine is the worst thing to sell, or heroin, the worst thing to sell in the world. They said it was marijuana until they was like, no, we can get some money. Up. Now, all of a sudden, marijuana, they got commercials about marijuana, how good it is. They got billboards. That shit is all on the news. All because of motherfuckers, because you say it's okay now, but just a couple years ago, nigga, y'all was kicking our doors in, taking us to jail forever. Niggas was getting 10, 20 years between, for weed. You get caught with weed with a pistol. Oh, uh, you running a dope house with weed now. You got a pistol in there. You got to protect yourself. So, okay, no, nah, that's a fucked up law too, because they know dope and guns go together, because it's like you, you, you going to protect your shit, right? But now it's okay. Now you walk in, now you walk in dispensaries, motherfuckers standing there with AR 15s, F, FNs on their side, big as a motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Man, this is the type of shit that I'm talking about, bro. We, we, we got to do better, bro. That's all I'm saying. I was just venting on this motherfucker, man. But I'm, I'm Trap Talk Blue. If you like what you hear, hit the like and subscribe button.